Hello neighbors in Christ and welcome to Eagle's Wings. Today we will be doing a study on Ezekiel chapter 28 verses 1 through 10. This is a two-part study. The first part is after the fall of Satan. This study is all about Satan in Ezekiel chapter 28 verses 1 through 10. A chapter that speaks about Satan himself. God, Yahweh, word, will prove who Satan is and why he fell. Let's go over some words first. The king of Tyrus. In Hebrew, Tyrus means rock. This rock is not our rock, but the fake rock before Satan fell. Son of Perdition. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 through 4, the man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. Perdition means to perish, be no more, over with, done, away with, gone, ashes, finished. The prince who came against Jesus, the abomination of desolation, also in Mark chapter 13 verse 14. The fake prince is called this because Satan the Antichrist will stand in Jerusalem saying he is Christ Jesus at the sixth seal trump vial after Satan fell. The word anti means instead of in Greek and there is so much information in this chapter of Ezekiel. Okay, so now here is a teaching that most all Christians have not been taught. Why? Because of traditions of men. And it's called the Three World Ages, written in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 6 through 13. The World Ages. The First World Age is the world that then was. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 6. The second world age is the heaven and the earth which are now. In 2 Peter chapter 6, verse 7. The third world age is new heavens and a new earth in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 13. Now let's talk about the first world age. This is when Satan fell due to his pride and wanted to take the mercy seat from God and sit in it. When Satan fell he took one-third of the angels with him. In Revelation chapter 12, one third of God's children followed the tail of the serpent, which is to say Satan. They listened to him and was persuaded to follow him. People are easy to be persuaded if they're ignorant of God's Word. That's why we should know God's Word, so we are not easily deceived. Then God, Yahweh, made the second world age, that is now, to see who loves God, Yahweh, or Satan. The third world age is yet to come. This is when Jesus returns to earth at the seventh trump. So you see, 
we are not going anywhere. Jesus is coming to earth to set up his kingdom right here on earth. You can read of this in Revelation chapter 21. The whole Godhead will be here on earth. Okay, with all that said, let's get our Bibles out and turn to Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 1. But first, let's ask God for a word of wisdom through Jesus Christ. And chapter 1 reads, verse 1, The word of God that came against again unto me, saying, This is God speaking to Ezekiel. Verse 2, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thou said the Lord God, because thy heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am God. I sat in the seat of God, in the midst of the sea. Yet thou art a man, and not God. Though thou set thy heart as the heart of God. So Tyrus means rock, but not our rock. This is Satan. You can read of this in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 31. Satan became very proud and told God, Yahweh, that he was God and was going to sit in the mercy seat of God. We can see that Tyrus is called prince here, not king. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 14, where Jesus said, Let no man deceive you, that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. This is talking, this is taking place in the second world age, which is now. Verse 3, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from me. Satan is very smart. He even used scripture to try to trip Jesus up. But the only thing was that Satan changed the scripture to fit his teaching. Satan knows the Bible better than most Christians. He changed the scripture and made it a lie. And most Christians would not even know or be aware of it. The lesson here is don't argue with Satan. Tell him to go behind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasure. Satan's wisdom has gotten him many treasures. This is talking about the four hidden dynasties of Satan, which are education, economics, politics, and religion. If you look around you, you can see that these four dynasties have been corrupted, especially religion. You can read of this in Zechariah chapter 1. The four horns, which means power. Verse 5. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffics have thou increased thy riches, and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. What does traffic mean? 
It means to deal or trade in something illegal. So what did Satan do illegal? He deceived one third of God's angels to follow him. The riches are from those who follow Satan. We read of this in Revelations chapter 12 verse 4. Verse 6. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, because thou hast set thy heart as the heart of God. We can see that Satan is playing God and wants to be Jesus Christ. Verse 7. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations and they shall draw their swords against thy beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defy thy brightness. Who are the strangers that draw their swords? The strangers are Jesus and his angels. Jesus with the two-edged sword that cuts both ways, his tongue. Read of this in Revelations chapter 1, verses 15 through 17. Verse 8. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them, that are slain in the midst of the sea. Who will bring Satan down to the pit? Jesus and his angels will cast Satan into the pit or abyss. In Revelations chapter 20, verse 1 through 2. Verse 9. Will thou yet say before him that slayeth thee? I am God, but thou shalt be a man, and no God, in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Jesus will destroy Satan, also called death, in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. Jesus came to destroy death, which is the devil. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, it reads, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Jesus was crucified, but Jesus will bruise Satan's head, and destroy him. Verse 10. Thou shalt die the death of the uncircumcised by the hands of strangers, for I have spoken it, said the Lord God. Satan and the fallen angels will be put to death. This is the only place where God has sentenced anyone to death also called the son of perdition remember what perdition means yes to perish be no more finished turn to ashes the second part of this study on Ezekiel 28 are verses 11 through 19 before Satan fell. Until next time, be well, be kind, and spread a seed of God's word. Bye for now, and amen.